Hey everyone, uh, this episode is going up a little late. I decided to wait for the actual release of the set and get that recorded. So we are now in M21. I uh, missed my chance to do one last Ikoria draft and redeem myself after that terrible loss. But uh, today we get to do Sealed. I have seen all the spoilers for M21, but I am... I haven't really, you know mentally sorted everything, so I am not sure what, exactly what to expect from this format. Uh, I know that the shrines are a thing, and I think those are going to be pretty bad and limited. So we'll, we'll have to see what, what we, we find. There's a lot of good cards, but I think there are also a lot of kind of mediocre cards. Um, just looking at these, um, let's see. So I like I, I actually like Karavek. There was a lot of discussion about not liking Karavek because he's kind of an iconic character, and this was a somewhat low impact, but this is pretty killer and limited. Um, it's a 4-drop that wrecks your opponent until he gets killed. Uh, and that's that's pretty solid for what I want a 4-drop. I play him, my opponent's not going to be able to attack me, because all his creatures are going to be bad. Uh, and then I can start advancing the board however I'd like to, with, with a strong creature superiority. Um, so I, I really like this effect. It's not it's not amazing, obviously. It's strong, but it's dealable. Your opponent can actually answer it, and it doesn't answer large creatures on your opponent's side. Like a 5-5 five, five still is a problem in Limited, but he can also instantly kill any uh, X1s. So I think it's pretty good. Um, oh man, Demonic Embrace has got to be incredible in Limited. Yeah, it... Plus three, one, and flying, and you can recast it. Like, turns every card in your hand into Demonic Embrace. This turns any creature that you have into a killing machine. So you play a little bit of removal to take care of their big threats that can outrace you. And then just some creatures. that work. I guess this works really well in a deck with a lot of Death Touch, because then you can hold down the fort with your smaller Death Touch creatures, and then turn any one of them that you don't need at the moment into a... Uh, a flying killer. Uh, I really like this card. Paying three life is a kind of a real cost and limited though, so uh, it's probably not as good as I'm thinking. Uh, the, the problem with it is that you put it on your creature and go on the offensive. The real counterplay here is to just swing back. Uh, you are taking two cards and making one good beat stick with it, but that means that your opponent can attack with two creatures for the same investment. Uh, and if you recast it, you're losing life. So it actually cycles downward pretty quickly for you. Um, but there are a lot of vampires in this set. So if you put it on something with lifelink, then you're going to be in business. They're going to have to have some sort of direct removal. And even then you're going to be like, okay, well, here's another demonic embrace. I'm still going. Uh, speaking of death touch creatures, I'm not familiar with this one. Okay. So when it attacks, your opponent loses a life. Uh, and you gain a life, and he kills Planeswalkers. 1-4 Death Touch seems pretty good to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so we're probably going to be playing black today, guys. We'll have to look at the rest of the pool, but our rares are certainly there for black. Um, Glorious Anthem is a pretty good staple. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Very strong effect. Isn't a creature... Which is both good and bad. Caravic can get killed, but Glorious Anthem doesn't kill your opponent. And then see the truth. If you cast this from anywhere other than your hands, you draw three. <sighs> I haven't really explored options for casting outside of your hand with this. Um, oh, you could do this with Mission Briefing. Hmm. That's That sounds intriguing to me. Four blue to draw three. That's so. It sounds great, but then four blue to draw three is not an incredible deal. It's probably pretty good with John Secrets though in a mill deck. Get those extra uh, casting procs. All right. Well, let's see what the whole pool looks like. Uh, let's see. So we've got kind of a brush waggy creature. 2-2 two, two Vigilance Dog. There's a lot of dogs in this set if you haven't seen. Um, we have three of this dog. 
So we didn't didn't get the Houndmaster. It's probably not going to be very good then. Um, actually, I'm not familiar. Are there any equipment in this set? Ikoria was a really interesting set to me because it didn't really have any equipment. Uh, and it doesn't look like I opened any. I don't remember if there's, like, your general, like, short sword style. I think there's a short sword in this set, isn't there? Stog would be pretty good with a short sword. <laughs> Alright. Feet of Resistance is pretty solid for limited. Protects against removal and lets you hit back harder. I like it. Um... That's some killer art. I don't know what I think about this card, though. 2 3 is a reasonable body and limited. 2 to tap a creature is a little much, but I've, I've done that before. Actually, only if you have a creature with flying, though. We'd have to have a lot of flyers to really get any good use out of this. If it were a 2 mana 2 3, I'd be happy playing it regardless. Um, now I'm looking at it, though. Like. Glorious Anthem with all of these. We got two Concordia Pegasi. Three Watchdogs. We could do a really low curve and then just slap down a Glorious Anthem. Or do a really low curve and then not draw Glorious Anthem and be like, wow, this 1-3 is for, for one is not great. <laughs> um, I don't really like that. Three mana, three two is okay. So it's fine body on its own, but we're really all in on the like small creatures attacking, aren't we? Hmm. Not bad. Siege Striker. If I'm just going swarmy, then he's uh, potentially a lot. Oh, that's an interesting wall. Maybe I haven't seen all of the cards. I don't remember this one. Attacking creatures get plus one oh. And rambunctious mutts. Probably pretty good and limited. I haven't looked to see what all kinds of uh, enchantment removal there are, but I keep see capture sphere down here. Um, I'm gonna guess capture sphere is like a key card for this format. So rambunctious mutts probably a quite reasonable card. So we've got some swarmy white things that like a lot of things in play. If I have some token makers somewhere, uh, then maybe this will be a good strategy. But I don't really have a lot that's going to make a lot of small bad creatures pay off. So I'm not really interested right now. Rookie mistakes, difficult to use. It requires too much going on. You've got to have basically combat with two of their creatures and two of your creatures in order to get any real value out of it. Uh, I've got two Frantic Inventory. That's more of a seal or a uh, constructed card. <laughs> Lofty Denial. This Flying Prowess is pretty solid. Like, a Wind Drake normally is okay and limited. I don't know how much I would get value out of Prowess, though. I've got two Dresses over there, so that could be something. Uh, I guess that, that probably goes well with artifact creatures as well, so that you can cast, you know, a, like a solemn simulacrum sort of thing on your turn, then swing for three in the air. I guess it combos with um, stuff like Rookie Mistake too. That's interesting. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of decently sized bodies on utility creatures, actually, uh, which makes me think that Makeshift Battalion, Celestial Enforcer are not that great. Although I'm coming around to the battalion, if you can get the other two creatures triggering, then he attacks as a 4-3, which is quite good for a for a 3-mana creature. The problem is you're probably losing some of the other creatures, so you need to have combat tricks in your deck, something like Feet of Resistance, so that you can swing with three creatures the turn after you play a makeshift battalion, and then combat trick whatever advantageous block they make. Alright, double capture sphere. I like it. I don't really like the rest of my blue, unfortunately, so maybe I'll splash it. Um, rain's fine. Can't be blocked as long as you've drawn cards. That's pretty difficult and limited. 
Uh, Spine Megalodon's pretty solid at 7. Hexproof, they're not going to be able to do anything about it. You have the biggest creature. Um, I've got two of them, so Evasion would be good. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this is the one where if you replay it from your discard, then you get a 5-5 five, five instead. Uh, I don't think we've got any tricks for it. Duress is always good. Eliminate, very good card. Grass of Darkness, very good. Alright, our black's looking good. Although a little shallow, man. We're going to need some serious other stuff. Interesting card. I think I would play it in Limited. He probably can get some good trades. She. She can probably get some good trades. Long Corpse, not exciting. It used to be exciting. They're like, oh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 in black. Uh, let's see. Each opponent loses a life. Activate only if something's died. That's very slow. Not good. Mind Rock, Caravac, Sanguine, Indulgence. Oh, wow. I'll pay for it for that regardless. Nice. Alright, so our black's really good but shallow, so we need something with good creatures. Black red may be a thing here. I've got two shocks. Fear of the Bitten. Uh, I don't think I want that. Pyrling. Not great for us. We don't have a lot of sources of non combat damage. We do have shocks. Uh, emulator. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Hobble Fiend could be okay. Scorching Dragonfire, Sure Strike, Thrill of Possibility. Okay, so we don't have creatures in here. I'm a little concerned. Spellgorger's okay. We do have quite a few. Okay, so I think Black Red might be a way we could go. Let's see if we have any good green. Some solid green creatures would go really well with this as, as well. I think we might have enough between black and red, though. All right, so life goes on is just life gain. Um, run a foul, I'm not a big fan of yet. Snare spinner is okay. Tank grows sweet. We don't really have a deck that can use Garrick's Uprising right now, but I think this is a very strong card. It's a uh, kind of like a replacement Kiora in terms of the card draw. Um. Pride Malkin is probably a very good limited card, actually. Thrashing Brontodon, very good. Um, I would play Hunter's Edge in limited. Buff your creature and fight is a strong ability. Hmm... It's a 2-2 two -two Death Touch for 4, and that can be okay. Sometimes we'll get the trigger off. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing here for, for green. These are all sweet. This is a weird card for green. They have a card draw theme for green in this set, I guess. Wow. For six. Alright, we're playing green, guys. <laughs> I think I have decided. Um, the question is, do we play this Wildwood Scourge? I don't really put a lot of counters on other creatures. It could go well without Mauler, though, and an X... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go black-green. Oh, that lets us play the Twin Blade Assassins, too. This is an incredible card. Alright, I'm liking how this deck's looking now. Just check my mana over here. Palladium Mirror could be good. I've got some expensive dudes. Oh, uh, we'll keep him in mind. Some free life gain? I don't think I want that. 
Sky Scanner is a 1 1 flyer. I think people were saying that he's pretty good. I don't think I agree about that. <laughs> Five mana to ramp is a little rough. Uh, this is probably playable in this deck. I think I do want this Palladium here. Alright, let's uh let's add in all our green creatures. Now we got two of the dif uh Dilophosaurs. Alright, none of our creatures are really four to start out with, are they? <laughs> this is gonna be a little awkward. I don't think I can play Garrick's Uprising. Play Snare Smitter Spinner. Don't want life goes on. And then double duress. Don't want him. I don't have anything that reanimates. I will play Eliminate and Grasp. Embrace, Hooded, Mind Rock, Kervec. Okay. I've got all the duels except for uh, Green and Black aren't allied, that makes sense. I don't know, we've got a uh, enemy in here as well. Oh well. All right, how many creatures are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we have a lot of creatures. Our curve's just really high. Um, hmm. So we probably want to fill out with masked black guard. And I'll probably want to use him to trade early if I can. I don't think I'm running Titanic Growth. So we only had one of the Dilophosaurs. I must have been thinking of the Mauler. Yeah, this seems okay to me. Got a bit of removal, not a whole lot. Eliminate, Grasp of Darkness, two Duresses, and a Mind Rot, so. This could, this could work well. All right, let's try it out. Yeah, this looks okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just duress him. Alright, Insight or Rousing Reed. Um... I think Rousing Reed's an incredible card. I may regret this Insight later. Offer a trade with the black card. Oh, maybe I won't. I don't really have anything else to cast. Um, no, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, this is fine. If he wants to trade here, he can. He won't. He's gonna get in three damage on my side, and then I care back him. I should have. Uh, I should have pumped them though. I wasn't thinking.
So I think he's holding up cancel mana. I would really like it for him to just okay. I don't really want Karavek to get countered. I would really like for Karavek not to get countered. Uh, I don't think there's any flash creature I can bait him into using though. Um, so let's see. If this gets countered, then I will simply hold back and try and trade here. It won't happen. I'll probably just give him self flying. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's other creatures, not just my own. Okay, I like Kerbeck a lot less now. I'm bad at this game. That's great. <laughs> okay. That's awfully spiteful of you, Kerbeck. Could have at least gotten in for two damage first. Got feet of resistance or something. That would be a pretty poor combat trick, maybe. There's gotta be some combat trick that lets him trade here. Maybe he just doesn't want a dumb O2 anymore. There's probably better uses for an O2 than just chump blocking here though. His life total's not really under any pressure. So if it were me and I didn't have a combat trick, I would simply save it to block something bigger like this Warden of the Woods. Uh, which is only going to be one bigger, unfortunately. But yeah, I would save it for a more critical chump block. Um, but if he does block like this, I'm going to guess he has some sort of reason for it other than chumping. Oh, he's got the... the good hound master or pack leader that pack leader is a crazy card makes all your dogs really good at attacking So he has a 3-3 flyer now. That's okay. I don't think it was necessary for him to wait that entire time to do that, but here we are. So the reason I left the Ageless Insight in his hand earlier is because this card requires another card to work and I didn't see that in his hand. If he doesn't see more card draw, then this Ageless Insight's a dead card. Um, we can presume that he has put a lot of card draw effects in his deck if he's playing this, so it was kind of a short-term gamble, but I really didn't want to deal with this Rousing Reed. Um, drawing extra cards and getting flying in plus one plus one is all great in a single package. Wasn't looking forward to that, so I figured this would help stabilize me early. Um, okay, so I have enough to play Warden of the Woods. He would probably take this trade if I were to offer it. Uh, Mind Rot right now is not incredible because he can discard this Insight. If I wait for him to play the Insight, then I can Mind Rot afterwards and I'll have to maybe get rid of the the card draw that he had that prompted him to play it. I would like to stick this Warden of the Woods, I think is what I'm going to go for. And maybe, maybe he'll play his own creature as a response to try and keep up with the Warden. And then at that point, he might play the Ageless Insight with only, like, two cards in his hands. That's kind of the gameplay I'm hoping for here. Oh, okay, he stopped playing. Alright. Ran out of timeouts. Well, now I know to be more careful with Karabek. Um, do I need to reconsider having him in my deck? 
I don't think so. I don't have a lot of X1s. I've got the Pride Malkin, and I've got the Flash 2 one that just died from it. <laughs> okay, well, this is a very spiteful hand, Kervec. Opponent's going first. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Double duress. Like, oh, if he mulligan, this is not going to end well for him. Okay, well, this duress is terrible. <laughs> Rip. That's okay, though. I can kill all of this stuff. So, um, Selfless Savior can give minus four, minus four. Or can give indestructible, but Grasp of Darkness is minus four, minus four, and does not um, interact. Uh, so I can get rid of the Selfless Savior now. I gotta deal with. I think I would rather do the Grasp on the Patrick. Who destroy the Death Bloom, and he can Selfless Savior it if he wants. Nope, he didn't. Okay. This Care of X can be pretty solid then. Let's go ahead and just Mind Rot him. Alright, he's keeping the Patrician. It's good news for us. If I draw lands, he's just going to lose his whole board, basically. Feet of resistance would be bad for me here. Probably shouldn't have let him untap before I did this, but okay, I didn't have anything that was gonna pump the. Pump. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll check his hand again. All right, we got the grasp. One land, and we're home free. Come on, land. Alright, we did it. Windmill Slam Caravac. I like it. Oh, that's a cool card. I am not familiar with that one. I like it. Okay, so... Um... Okay, curve X making. I was like, why is this power changed? I'm gonna start getting in for some damage. Yeah, I'll take that trade. I can get my creature right back with Sanguine. We can go Ornery, Dilophosaur. We're swinging for eight. Gaggle Master. Alright. Well, he can trade with the Mauler, which I'm fine with. Yep, he wanted to not trade, which makes sense. But I've got some reach. I'll trade. I'll just play the Masked Blackguard on their turn. I could have gotten both of these guys back with Sanguine, I guess. Alright, sweet. That was a really good care back. A little scary when we weren't hitting our way into draws, but... Uh, drew two forests, so we did pretty well with that. More 
just black. This is a much less appealing hand. Um, the rest can't protect me from creatures, and I have nothing that will actually block. Okay. This is something. Our curve's a little bad. Not gonna lie. If we can get a, a land, then I can get this Palladium Mirror going. So the Mauler combos with the Scourge. Watch of the Spheres. Creatures with flying cost less whenever another creature... Oh, okay. Oh, we got that Swamp. That's nice. I don't think it's going to make a difference. If he's got Flyers, I've only got like one card that deals with flying. Uh, but we're drawing our way in, so I appreciate that. Let us try and stick a Palladium Mirror. That might accelerate us to the point where we can keep in this. Who's this lieutenant? Protection from multicolor. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really good. Let's see. So I can... I can just kill this Watcher on his turn. As well as play the Sabertooth Mauler. Doesn't seem great. I can just play a big Wildwood Scourge for five. We'll do this. Oh yeah, I can go ahead and kill this, which gives him the 2-2 to attack me with, but I also get a creature, or get the Mauler token, or counter, so that's, that's good. Or it's bad. It's really bad now. Everything's just... Things are bad. Not good. I liked it when they were good, and not bad. Let's see, uh... <laughs> So we got seven. I hope he doesn't have another one of those. Oh, it's, it's six. That doesn't know how that worked. If he clenches this, I think there is a clench variant in this format. If he plays it, I'm just done. I will be out of the game. Wow. Um, do I concede? I probably could concede now. Five. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're done. I guess I got a little greedy with the, the Hydra, knowing that there's a spell that counters. The whole game would have gone a lot better for me if I just waited until his turn to use the uh, the removal spell. I like this hand. This is gonna be quite solid. So I'm not sure when the best time to use Duress is. I'm gonna throw it out now. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. He's not gonna play a non-creature card first. Typically in limited, those are used for combat tricks and buffs. So I think I've lost nothing by giving him another card draw to look at. 
Um, but after this turn, I'll have stuff to deal with all my mana, so I want to do it now. Let's get rid of that glorious anthem. He's got a lot of flying and, ooh, green. Okay. This is a punchy deck. I will need to keep up on the curve, so I hope I hit my land drops here. This blight thing should help. Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, by gaining me some life. Just to stay in the game, I'm actually just going to play the Scourge out as a 2 2. So, this Hunter's Edge with Blight Fang is instant removal. Well, sorcery speed removal. Um, but. Yeah, the, the point is that I can kill anything with the Blight Fang. So I'm going to wait for him to play something serious and try and nail that. I, get, I don't get it. I lost the opportunity. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I can get it back with Sanguine Indulgence, which is really good. I'm just trying to think of which is my best bet here. I think the Twin Blades is strongest. Probably just eats more white removal. Okay, so here's the play. We're just gonna get in for a ton of damage. to draw a card. We've got removal, evasion. Yeah, if he... Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's really any, any good play here for him. I don't kill him this turn, but I do get some wild card. Okay. Well. That's really good. Um, is it good enough? I don't think so. I think I can put the Demonic Embrace on the Assassins and force him to block there. So I'll have 9. He'll gain 5 there, putting him to 6, and then dead. Whereas if he blocks here, I get 3 in... Yeah. Yep. It's a demon. I have made a terrible mistake. Oh my gosh. That's so dumb. Okay. Whatever. I can just play a bunch of big creatures. It's fine. Uh, let's see, so I've got seven mana right now. If I get another lands next turn, I can go double mauler. Um, obviously, I cannot afford to attack now because I have made the mistake. So if I were to swing and he double blocks, that would be good for me. If I swing and he just single blocks, it's very dumb. So, that's dumb. Oh, a bunch of dread moss. We're in the big, big game now. Well, let's get rid of the rest of his hand. Oh my 
trash. Alright, so we can eliminate that. That's fine. And that will give me a bunch of counters on my Mauler and on my Scourge. That helps a lot. Oh, he almost he almost gave us an opportunity. Uh Brontodon's pretty good. Ooh. No. That doesn't help. I was like, I can destroy my own demonic embrace, but then he would just die to first strike. I could do it after the first strike damage. And then he would die before he dealt combat damage. That's not how this game works. Um Yeah, I really need a way to trade. If I got... Yeah, this Scourge is so far from... I think I'd just throw the Gnarled Sage at my opponent, actually. With a card draw and... Yeah, I'm going to do it for the card draw and the counters. It will buff my board to a significant space. I should probably get that hooded back. Yeah, unfortunately it gets a bunch of life off of this. That's pretty dumb, but... Oh, Duress is not that great. was a timely Baneslayer Angel. Could just make a really big wildwood scourge uh, by attacking with it. Oh my gosh, she has another dread maw. This is ridiculous. Masked blackguard. That's interesting. So I don't think I can trigger it that much. I've got three, nine, ten, eleven. So I can trigger it three times, which doesn't get it out of Bane's lair range. I'm still gonna try it. Oh no, it's too small. It wouldn't even kill a, a dread maw. Okay. Might as well. Okay, so do I want to. I can kill my th Thrashing Brontodon to get rid of the Demonic Embrace, but I don't think that's a good play. We got 11 cards left. That's, yeah, he's got a lot of creatures too. I was going to say, at some point I might just be able to attack. He might just let it through. I think I would let it through. Pride Malkin. I can use this to kill the Baneslayer Angel. Let's 
See if he sees it. <laughs> it is a quandary. Alright, he's gonna trade. Hopefully he didn't find a combat trick in the last few turns. So now I uh, get rid of the Demonic Embrace. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, I've got a few turns left to kill my opponent. Oh, he gave up, okay. Uh, it was still a bit of a game, but yeah, the Demonic Embrace onto the Hydra would have been pretty lethal. Alright, well that was close, but a uh, good game. Okay, this, look, this looks fine to me. I need another swamp, but I've got a 2-drop and some good 5-drop stuff. Yep, oh, Short Sword is in fact in this set. I thought that was the art for it. Well, let's see if I can get some cheapo damage in. Uh, so I want to trade this black guard off because I have Karavek, and they don't combo well together. Cage zombie. Alright, so... I actually do have a good play now. It is not a fight effect. This is a little, little aggressive in my opinion, but it makes my black card survive Karabak, as well as gets rid of this creature so I can keep attacking. Oh. Oh, the short sword. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, he didn't equip the short sword. Why not? Maybe he forgot? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we will seize this short opportunity to kill this creature. Maybe he had a single black combat trick? I don't know of one that takes just a black, but I might guess that there's one in there. Maybe it's, uh... That's pretty unfortunate with Karavak in play like that. Some bad cards is what he gets. Uh, which means he might be willing to trade Karavak. In which case I could get him back with Sanguine Indulgence. Um, I am going to attempt to get some value with this black guard though. It doesn't bite. Uh, well I can get 4 damage in. 4 is 4 damage. Yeah, I'll go for it. He's tapped out, so he can't do the like this deal or destroy creature with power four or greater. So this is fine. 
You can equip to the knight, or I guess the steed's probably better. Okay. Um. Would I trade this? It, I don't think so. I fear for some sort of combat trick with this attack, but if he's greedy, he will block here and here, and then I can Twin Blade Assassins. He is also fearful of a combat trick, so I will simply spend some mana and throw out a Palladium Mirror. Well, there's the combat trick. Now I know. Uh, that's super, super fine with me. I am fine making this trade card for card. So he plays one card this turn, then I can mind draw the last two. That's pretty My nice. Sand will protect you. Oh, well, it's not better than just really good draws off the top. Uh, let's mind draw it first, in case he has some sort of buff for his steed. Alright. Take care of this, and then I can get in for... Yeah, I think I just hit his face. Good top decks. Get those core 21, or 2021s. I didn't buy the booster bundle for this set, because I did so many events for last set, I think I would have gotten the whole set regardless. So, I need to get as many packs as I can to start building new stuff. Sounds like it's time to play Sealed. I'm skeptical about the mana curve of this deck. Looks like I'll be playing this Wildwood Scourge on uh, two counters. Oh man, everyone's got Vazri. That seems really good. You joking? Alright, we're just gonna have to play a bunch of creatures. Oh, man. <laughs> Seems good. Ketra's love is your shield. I don't think it was any way we're beating this. Yeah, the grasp of darkness is just too late. Okay, so Yeah, that is so gross. Yeah. 
I will guard your advance. Yeah? Are you attacking? <laughs> Alright, there is one card that might pull this out for me. And that is the destroy creature with uh, two or... Why did he cast this? Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'm sure I'll find out shortly. Uh, let's see. So, Hunter's Edge can help a little. Not a lot, but a little. Oh yeah, I think I just lost. I didn't see that. So I go down to seven, this goes up to six. Now I'll still have one health left. Seems good. I don't like it. Under six. No, it's it's not. He's gonna get counters on his Pegasus anyways. Yeah, that uh, Basriel is pretty ridiculous. It's probably not impossible to deal with if your opponent, like if you have early creatures, but that's a real problem against a deck that's slow on the mana curve like ours is. I would have needed a duress to take that out of his hand. So, bad draws versus his good deck. What is the duress? This seems like an okay hand. Got early creatures. I need another swamp, but we can get there. Again, I think duress is going to be a turn two play. Swamp. Now let's see what you got. <laughs> I'm not taking a shock. Alright, so he's got a lot of aggressive stuff. Can't attack unless he has four or more artifacts, but he creates treasures every turn. That's lovely. So Sporewood Weaver, Hexproof from Blue. And he gets saprlings from it. Okay. I mean, I've got plenty of time to deal with the Gadrak. Unless he puts another enchantment on it, in which case, Grasp might not be that great. Can't attack, though. Gadrak is a 5 4. <laughs> Uh, for each non- okay, so he has to kill my stuff. 
Alright. Uh, I wonder if he would trade thrashing for the, uh, the Gadrak. I've come to bargain. Do you want to trade? You want to trade? Yeah, you want to trade. Get out of here. He is super without his forest, though. Okay, um... I think Ward is going to be the best bet here. That's going to be pretty hard for him to deal with. Especially if he doesn't have things. Alright. Well, your opponent not being able to play a spell is a good way to win the game. Alright, we need two more wins before I lose again. Can we do it? I like this deck. I think it's done pretty well. Don't like this. Light Fang's okay. Don't want a mulligan going first, though. I'll keep it. I think the Pride Falcon on the Blight Fang could be fun. Just need to find a forest. Okay. This could be a repeat of our last game, except on our side. We'll go for the Blight Fang first. He might have that destroy three mana or less card. That one. I've got the same one though. Uh, I was also worried about shock with the Palladium Mirror. I was like, he can kill either way. Yeah, I was right out of the way. He had both of them. That's all right. I'll probably just get both of them back with Sanguine Indulgence right now. Let's see, or I could play Karavek. I don't know. This ogre is pretty bad. I'm gonna see if I can convince him to trade here. Or if it just gets shocked again. Shock's a very good card in Limited, if you were wondering. <laughs> This turret ogre is pretty solid too. I like it. See, I'm less inclined to trade now that he's got that death bloom salad. I did it. I think this is right. The White Fang is good. If I get a land, I think I can go. Yeah, White Fang plus Palladium Mirror. Get them both out. I didn't get the land. Oh, well, let's see if this Palladium Mirror sticks around. Kind of behind in terms of the board. So I need the mana acceleration to catch up. 
I'm just going to eat this damage, and if he has a shock, then I am in trouble. Probably should have traded here for the magma instead. He's thinking pretty hard about what bad things he wants to do. Oh, really bad things. All right. Nothing I can really do about that either, unfortunately. Um, could just play the Warden. Doesn't give me any way to deal with the Gormand, though. I don't think there is a card in the deck. No, Demonic Embrace will work. I think right now I have to block this. That's quite a good card. And then the magma, this magma's gonna kill me. I think even if I answer the Gormand right now, the magma's gonna get, finish me off before I can kill him. That's not, that's not the card I needed. Is he going to have targeted removal? Did I just lose? Maybe not. I need the Hunter's Prey right now. Oh. Or I just lose. Alright. We did not get there, everyone. Took too long finding our forests and didn't really have a solution for that. So I did, but it wouldn't have worked either way. If I had played instead of the Pride Malk and I had waited for the 4-4 um, four, four re with Reach, then I could have put the Pride Malk and token onto the blocker and tried to trade with the Gormond. But that would have been too slow and it still would have died to the Volcanic Geyser. Uh, that's okay, though. That deck did pretty well. I like it. Uh, that was an interesting format. There's a lot of removal in it. Um, it's a pretty powerful format, but I don't feel like it's as bomby uh, yet. From the from the seven games I've played, eight games I've played, I don't feel like it's as bomby as the other formats have been. And specifically Ikoria. Ikoria kind of snowballed out of control. I don't feel like that happened with this. I'll have to see though for next sealed. I'm going to try and put these out pretty much as quickly as I can. So you guys should see in lieu of the drafting each week, I'll put up a sealed uh, deck. And um, now I have to make a make a new M21 deck for this week's uh, episode. I'm thinking blue mill. It's kind of a good fallback, but I think there's there's quite a few good arguments to be made for it in this set. So I'll see what I can put together. All right, so I'll be back on Friday, and we'll do some more Sealed next week. See you then.